Lindsay. Welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm trying to just set my camera up on my dashboard and my camera's broken, so I'm having a lot of issues. It's not broken, it's the screen part. I don't know anything about Canon G7Xs. This is the best ring yet. If you know anything about Canon G7Xs, the, the camera flip, the screen flips up. Um, Y'all don't care, but whenever I flip it up, it doesn't flip up, it falls back. Never wear hats, um, so this is kind of bothering me. Hats kind of bother me, I don't know why. Cause I just, uh, it gets all sweaty. I was like, I do not want to do my hair, my makeup and my hair today. So we're just gonna throw a hat on, okay. This video has been long overdue. It's been long overdue. I've been needing to do a thrift with me for so long. I wanted to have someone come with me so that like they could help me record and everything. No one can, I also just haven't asked anyone, so. Um, I just love thrifting alone so much. Like, it's just so calming and peaceful. So, I was gonna do a whole drive with me, but normally I do it on my phone. But then I broke this mount too, so it's like, why do I keep breaking things? Can Mercury retrograde be over? I'm done. Um, But here's the fit. I don't know what I'm really wearing today. Just all gray, a little hat. It's actually not even warm today, it's like 50. I love thrifting so much. I've been, I mean, when I was younger, I thrifted to get clothes. Um, I don't know about y'all girlies over here thrifting to get vintage pieces. Um, thrifting was literally my back to school shopping. Some of y'all probably don't understand. Um, if y'all understand leave me a comment the thrift store just means a lot more to me than just trying to find levi shit and nike brands and you know what i mean just family was poor obviously but i'm in my bag now so we thrift for fun colorado i feel like it's it's pretty literally everything in the thrift store is winter clothing because it, it's cold here so in the summer like i still feel like there's still like no summer shit so we're gonna see what happens. I really don't be finding like a lot of shit and I'm not trying to spend too much money today, but I'm trying to find good stuff. So I don't know if there's gonna be a big haul, a small haul, but I'm gonna put it in at the end. I'm gonna try to record in little, I'm gonna go to ARC and then I think I'm gonna go to Goodwill and that's normally the two I go to, Goodwill and ARC. If you don't know what the ARC is, it's just like a thrift store. I wish I didn't have so many freaking camera difficulties because I always freaking do. So when I get there, I'm not looking for anything in particular, but it is summer, so I'm trying to look for little cute tops. I'm always looking for sweatpants and like track suits and like cute little purses and cute little jewelry and stuff like that. So obviously that'll be taken into account, but I'm not looking for anything too specific. That's when you find the best shit, I feel like. Whenever you're just like looking through there and just scoping. Um, I might add tips, but I don't know. We'll see. I'd like to give a huge shout out to Cooper. Really hope I said that right for sponsoring today's video. And I'm gonna go into a little snippet of me talking more about them right now. So everyone, today we have a sponsor. Ah. The sponsor is Cooper, which is a free browser extension to get coupons, cash back, all of that on all your fashion needs. Gives you the best deals and also can give you up to 20% cash back as stores like CVS, Shein, Walgreens, H&M, literally every single store. Here we got the list. Amazon, eBay, Walmart, CVS, H&M, Nike, Gap. That's a lot. And who doesn't love to save money? I love to save money. I like having every single browser extension possible to let me save money on every single, single time I online shop because there's no reason to not be saving money. Like there's so many ways to online and shipping, handling, it all gets very expensive. That's where Coopert comes in clutch, okay? Installation of this browser extension is hella simple. I'm just gonna put in a little like screen recording, basic Google Chrome extension. You just hit download boom and it's gonna have like the little the little symbol in the little corner Every time you have a cart whether you finish your Shein cart your Fashion Nova cart it'll pop up and tell you how you can save money which stores can give you the most cash back all of that kinds of stuff 
there's just so many ways using that website that you can save money, whether it's cash back, just getting coupons, all of that. So like I said, go click the link in my description. It'll be the first thing and go download the extension because you don't have to search anything up. It'll like literally do it for you. If you just have the extension up, it's a simple little download and it'll just do all the work for you. So thank you again, Coopert, Coopert. Coopert for sponsoring today's video. I'm so sorry if I'm bashing your name. I appreciate you so much. Thank you, thank you so much for supporting me and my channel. And let's just keep going with the video. So let's go to the store before I run out of gas. This car just keeps going. I need to, we need to get on the road. I'm here. Um, it took me so much longer than it needed to be for absolutely no reason. I got a little McDouble, so I'm gonna eat that real quick. And I got a little caramel frap. I wanted to get Dutch Bros, but for some reason they don't have a Dutch Bros like near anything that I want to go to around this place. Like Dutch Bros is like 30 minutes, 40 minutes away from where I live. And McDonald's was across the street from this store, so sacrifices. Kind of pop in today. There's like 10 cars. So it's a little popping on this Monday afternoon. Um, I really hope I find stuff that's good. I normally find better stuff at Goodwill than ARC, so that's why I decided to go to ARC first. I also want to look in the home decor too, because why not? Um, I don't know what my plan is. Um, I don't even need more clothes, that's the thing. Like, There's absolutely no reason for me to be thrifting right now. Um, whatever. Maybe we'll find some good staple pieces that we didn't even know, you know? I'm trying not to make, eat McDonald's, but I haven't eaten McDonald's in like a month or two. Which I'm very proud of myself for because I was younger, all throughout high school, I ate McDonald's at least like once or twice a week. I swear. I'm not proud of it, but it's how I grew up. I wish it wasn't that way, but it just is. So that's why it's crazy whenever I like meet people and they're like, my parents didn't let me drink soda growing up or my parents didn't let us eat fast food. I'm like, I fucking wish, you know? Cause like this shit is so toxic for you. I don't give a fuck. But it's so good. I mean, obviously I'm sitting here eating it. I can't be mad at myself. but it's just convenience and like I didn't want to go all day and not eating because like whenever I'm home I normally eat one meal a day um which is not good I'm just gonna be honest and y'all flame me whatever but I'm telling the truth about my life oh my god someone's walking I don't know why people give me so much anxiety I'm like it really doesn't matter anyways in college i lost weight because i was eating so much more um i was eating breakfast after practice i was eating you know lunch i was eating dinner but like at this point like i need to fucking make that decision for myself like i shouldn't be blaming college you know i mean College shouldn't be forcing me to eat healthy, you know? I should be making that for myself. I'll be honest, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. It's just like, I don't know how to cook. Like, I'm not a good cook. I haven't tried many things on the food spectrum. I ate fast food a majority of my life. Um, we ate dinners, like, when I was younger. But they weren't, like, healthy. Um... This has nothing to do with thrifting. Okay, let me shut the fuck up. I'm gonna talk to y'all when we get in the store. I hope we find good shit. Or I'm just not into it. Oh. My hat's from... I actually got it on Amazon. My shirt's from Baddieville. My pants are from Pretty Little Thing. My shoes are from Pretty Little Thing. You can't see them, but... I'm a size 16 in pants, mostly. I, I wear extra large. If I like oversized, I'll be looking at the 3X shit. That's the rundown. Okay. And I'm 5'7", five, 5'6", five, I don't know. Okay, let's get going. I love going places alone, but like with my camera and shit, this really, I feel like I'd be looking crazy, but 
I give up. I really do. Fuck this shit. I'm a YouTuber. What about it? I know. Here are the shoes. They're like easy knockoffs, you know? I need to get a bigger size though. But here's the arc. Look how run down this shit is. <laughs> This bitch is busy today. I swear this store is never busy. Cause I'm recording, I'm just trying to find an area without people. Um, Cause I have anxiety. Here's a bit. There's people at every corner. I can't do this. I hope y'all know what I mean. Love yours. Hey y'all. Before I start, y'all hear how good this audio is? Um, your bitch got a microphone, you already know, but okay, let's get with the video. When I first go into a thrift store, no matter what thrift store it is, I always go to the freaking men's section. Sweatshirts, a t-shirt, a sweatpants. No, first I have to hit the t-shirts, that's normally what I do. Um, they didn't really have that many today, but you know, my number one tip is to go through every single thing. Every single thing. And there's a lot of patriotic wear. Um, thrift stores, you'll see a lot of patriotic wear. And the, look at this American trucker shirt. America. Made in America. God, country, freedom. <laughs> but I love looking at the long sleeves. You'll always find random, like, Nike long sleeves or just stuff like that. Struggle, ugliness, and a success. Hear my words and listen to my signal of distress. I grew up in the city and know sometimes we had less. Compared to the arc, they'll have the hats just like on the side of the little aisles. So I'll just look at the hats. I don't really look too deep into them, but if something catches my eye, I'll definitely look at it. So today I saw this like black and yellow Ken's and Leslie. I don't know. It might be like a truck kind of thing, trucker kind of hat, but I just got it because I like the colors. And you know, my name's Mackenzie. So. <laughs> And next, I will still look at the shorts in my size because maybe, uh, literally never will find anything, but maybe I will. I'll look in the pants as well. Here, I found this green and blue little halter top. When I tell y'all to look through every single aisle, I literally found this halter top with pants. So when I say, if you aren't looking for pants, still look in the pants because you never know what you could find. So here's a glimpse of the home decor. I wasn't really looking through it. The furniture, nothing really caught my eye. But when I tell you I'm being so serious, I literally look through every single thing. Sometimes even the kids, and y'all see me, like, I wouldn't fit any of that. But, like, I look through everything, because you really never know. Disrespect to all my niggas out there living in debt. Cash and minimal checks. Turn on the TV, see a nigga Rolex. And fantasize about a life with no stress. I mean this shit sincerely. And as a nigga who was once in your shoes, living with nothing to lose, I hope when they... I normally look through all the little women's tank tops, all their little summer tops. Nothing looked cute to me. As you can see, it's it's really hit or miss. Like when you go thrifting, you have to have the patience to look through every single item or you're not gonna find anything. Ooh, America. Um, but seriously, like a lot of people will go thrifting and they're like, I wanna find Levi jeans. And like, if you just go to the thrift store and you're like, I wanna find specific brands, you're not gonna find anything. Um, you have to go in with an open mind and that's when you find the best shit, every time. Here's me going through the sweatpants and sweatshirts, the men's, even though it's literally July, um, <laughs> no matter what time of the year it is, I'll be looking in the sweatshirts, that's for sure. Oh, I did ask can barely find anything. I haven't looked through each thing, but it's looking pretty empty at this freaking thrift store. It's a polka dot skirt. If I was skinny, this shit would be going a lot easier right now. But I'm not. Look at these purses. And I never be getting purses, but like. And like, they be having plus size, but like, look at this shit. <laughs> Ugly. Like. Maybe you'll find something that's like, you know, cute, but like, it is very like rare, you know? Or like, maybe you can like cut it, but. Mm, like this. Get this. Uh, 
I've literally only found like five things. Like, what the fuck? Um, I'm gonna go in the men's t-shirts again because <laughs> this ain't it, to be honest with you. through the women's jackets which i never do because they never have my size but weird enough i found this freaking light wash american eagle whole like full size like jean jacket and i've been looking for a jean jacket that's not too oversized and it actually fits me i've i only have like ones that don't fit me like kind of tight and this one like it's so cute and it was very very cheap and also, don't be afraid to try stuff on. I know you might be like, oh, I want to wash it first. But literally, no matter what price, you don't want to buy anything that literally doesn't look right. Go through the shoes as well, but it's very, very rare that I find anything. I got very weirdly shaped feet, and it's normally just a no. But make sure to go through that too. And then normally what I finish it off with is looking at the purses and the handbags and the jewelry um i love looking through it at the arc they have so many purses i love all the purses so ooh, i found a little red one cute little handbag i'm trying to get more colorful bags because all of my bags are just ugly and okay they're not ugly but i literally only have a black and a white one so i definitely have more colors now <laughs> kind of girl that you could be down for a thrift store be playing the bops i swear to god get you i feel something crazy. i can't tell if these purses are cute or not like they look cute but then i'm like mackenzie are you gonna wear them are you gonna pair them with outfits okay. so here's the turnout i'm gonna go check out and then i'll see all my car Right, so I just got out of the store. I spent like a hundred dollars. I did not know I was gonna spend that much. It's like 93, but that's basically a hundred. I definitely think it was the purses I got. I'll show y'all when I get home, but they cute, okay. Oh, I just got back. I'm trying to figure out whether I still want to go to Goodwill because I did not know I was gonna find this much stuff or spend that much money. But I think I'm still just going to swing by Goodwill and, like, limit myself. <laughs> um, not trying to find as much and just, like, look. <laughs> look lighter around the store. I'm also going to pee myself, so I hope this Goodwill's closed. Um, found some pretty good stuff. Like, it wasn't too bad. Just with thrifting, you have to go through the stuff to find good stuff. You got to be patient or you won't find nothing. I'm gonna go to Goodwill. Um, I'll see y'all when I get there. <laughs> Here's the Goodwill I normally go to. It's actually yeah, low key hella nice. We love this Goodwill. Um, look at it. So cute. Doing retail center. Look how fancy this shit look like. <laughs> Alright, so we're at Goodwill. Um, I'm still gonna try to get footed. It looks like there's a lot of people here, so we'll see. I'll see y'all in there.
free things and it was $18 like Goodwill be expensive like going thrifting I definitely go to ARC or I go to any other place the only I want to try Plato's Closet but I've never been to Plato's Closet what if we went what if we went It'd be an intense thrifting trip like look how much I got <sighs> a bitch should check her um bank account before she goes to some Plato's Closet 15 minute drive I don't know I've never been in Plato's Closet so I don't think I'm gonna bring my camera just because I feel like I got enough footage so um, I'm gonna head to Plato's Closet and hopefully maybe we'll find something good I don't know I just want to make sure I can like go everywhere and check everything before I go home so <laughs> I don't know if you'd say Plato's Closet Plato's Closet is like thrifting I think it is I really don't know a lot about Plato's Closet, but I know my sister goes there all the time and she gets cute shit. Like they have some cute stuff there. Guys, so I'm back at home. I'm gonna show you all these pieces because I think I got some pretty cute shit, okay? I didn't talk to y'all about anything in Plato's Closet, but it was cute in there. I feel like I've been to a consignment store, low-key like that before, um, but it wasn't called Plato's Closet. It was like its own little boutique thing. But I'm sitting on my bed like, it's nasty on my bed. First, we start with everything I got at ARC. Y'all saw, saw some of the stuff I got, but I didn't really show too much. So, I got this hat that I kind of wish I didn't get now, but I low-key want to style something with it. I don't do black and yellow enough. I really don't. I'm not very adventurous with my style. I really just got this because it said Ken's on it. <laughs> um, it's probably like a trucker like company or something. I don't know, but I thought the colors would like do really good with something. So, look at my squishmallow. So yeah, for six dollars for this hat, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know why I did it. Honestly, I feel like this should be like three or four, not six. And I just got this big army T-shirt because I like just having huge ass T-shirts. Um, I actually have one for my dad because you know he's in the army. Um, and I have a long sleeve gray one, but now I have a t-shirt, so, woo. Here's this, like, it low-key reminds me of, like, a mechanic, like, uniform. It just has this, like, USCUSA, I don't know, it was $5. I just really like the color and how, like, the black and the white go on the sleeve, and I thought it'd be really cute if I could crop this, um, that's the one thing with thrifting, you just gotta have that vision because some things would look so cute if you just like cut the a little bit off the bottom, off the sleeve, something like that. You gotta be a little DIY-esque, okay? This works. I didn't try on any of the clothes I got at ARC. Um, might be a, a mistake. I tried on the jacket, but... Okay, so this shirt low-key reminds me of the one that I just showed you. Um, so it's this little tank top. I just thought it was very interesting and different. Uh, I don't know what I could wear it with. I just thought this like V cut with the zipper. Um, the back is hella weird. With the, I don't know what that is, but maybe I could cut this one too. Uh, I don't know. This one was just $2. So it says it's an exercise woman's performance. So maybe it's like a little exercise old tank top. I don't know. Okay, so this tank top I actually didn't even find in the tank top like area but it says it's from the gap i don't know i just thought these two colors together were so cute like the blue and the like green um it's just a little halter top definitely could maybe cut this one too i just love cropping every single item i own so i just need to get myself to do it because i'll forget to do it it's an extra large so i think it'll fit me but we'll have to see i just really like how it looks this is probably like the biggest steal i feel like out of everything this is an american eagle um jean jacket and it's light wash and it's like full size i'm i've been needing a, like a full size just like more tight fitting to my body like jean jacket it's only 12.99 and y'all know how much american eagle runs like this is probably like 30 dollars i tried it on in the store because i was like the lady didn't even ring this up she didn't ring up some things i don't know why she did that i think it was because of the tags but the it's just like and it's a super thick material too and i know like it's summertime but i couldn't pass up like i could not get this 
Like, even for summer with like dresses, a jean jacket is just a staple to have. This is a skirt. I was trying to go into the skirt section of each place I went to because I don't have a lot of skirts and I think skirts are so cute. And even like long ones, I don't get a lot of skirts. So I found this blue, it was $5.99. I don't know. I don't know, I didn't try it on. Might be tight. But the literally the only reason I got it was because it has this high ass slit which I thought would look so cute. Oh, is it from Windsor? It's from Windsor, but it's hella long, but I just loved how the slit was so high. So I don't know how this might work. I hope it fits me. It might not, it's my fault. Okay, so here's this little tank top I got. This says Crew USA. Um, I just like having little tank tops to wear on the house, wear outside, you know. Hopefully this fits me too. Got some purses. I normally don't get purses, but I had to. I saw this. This is from Steve Madden actually. And it was actually $30. So that's kind of expensive. But it's Steve Madden. Like I don't know how much this purse would normally be. But I thought this is just the cutest little like. I don't think I'd be able to do a crossbody because I'm a big bitch. But like this is cute. I don't know. I just saw it. it. I actually had to take it off of a zip tie. It was like zip tied somewhere. But and then I got two little red purses. This one says Liz Claiborne. I don't know why that name sounds so familiar to me. But it's just this like little red pleather. Like just little, you know. I have a brown and green one, but I don't have a red one. So. And then I also got this one, which I probably wouldn't have gotten if it looked older, but like this purse to me looks hella new. I don't know. It's probably from like H&M or something like that, but. Oh, it has a mirror, but it's cracked, but it has a mirror, what? Anyways, it was $10, kind of expensive, but it's just a little long purse like this. Definitely compare that with some stuff. That's everything that I got at ARC. Hopefully all the pieces work and it looks cute or I'm gonna be fit. Um, now Goodwill. I didn't find a lot of stuff at Goodwill. I don't know if it's just cause I was like rushing cause I already spent so much money at ARC. I feel like this hat looks crazy on me, ew. I feel like my head's too big. Okay. Um, and Goodwill is more expensive. I don't know why I was bashing ARC. Like I love ARC. I've, it's been my number one thrift place like forever. Uh, cause I spent like $20 at Goodwill for three things. I feel like that's expensive. Maybe it's not. I don't know. I first got this little mini skirt. It's, it's, it's my ass cheeks are out, you know? But like, I'm trying to be hot girl summer, you know? And I want to get more mini skirts because I need that in my life. And they don't have mini skirts my size ever. So this one could have definitely been an extra large but it's just a large from Charlotte Russe. That's why my ass cheeks are hanging out, but here are just some like army green cargo shorts, but they're a size 16, they're my size, and I think they make my butt look scrumdiddly umptious. Um, they're from just Faded Glory. I think that's like fucking Walmart, honestly. But they were only $6, so I wanted to get cargo shorts like this because I don't have cargo shorts. I always think they're cute. Just to like wear, I don't know. And then here I got some basketball shorts. Uh, I don't know. These just caught my eye whenever I was walking around the men's section. A lot of stuff, their men's stuff just wasn't doing it. Like there wasn't a lot of good men's stuff, which there normally is. So I just like how the blues looked. I feel like I used to have a pair like these before, but I feel like it would look good with Jordans and like a white shirt or something. I don't know. I'm trying to be that kind of bitch, you know, but. I don't know. I don't think I'm that stylish, but I try. All right. So this is what I got from Plato's closet. I only got like three things, I think, but it was cute in there. It was cute. Um, there was a lot of Shein. I saw a lot of Fashion Nova. I saw a lot of Target. There's a lot of Target stuff, which is like definitely worth it. Cause Target, they'll charge you $30 for a shirt. Um, they had a lot of cute dresses. They had a lot of shoes too. So, 
90% off clearance too, we own that. Uh, I got a pair of shoes actually. Normally shoes don't fit me because I have very abnormal feet. Uh, they're fat, they're short, and they're just wide up and down, left to right, it's just not it. But these fit me. So they're just these little sandals with this little rattlesnake. They're obviously worn, but I got them in a size 10. Very cute, they're only $8, so they're the Abound brand. I don't know what that is, but I don't know. I need to get more sandals, so I got those. Just got two little shirts. Who knows if these will look right or fit me. I don't know why I keep doing this to myself. So I got this little like striped shirt. This one's from Charlotte Roost too. It's just hella stretchy, it's a large, just a little crop top. And then this is actually really cool. I got this in the men's section. It's this hella big like acid wash. It's like a regular Gildan long sleeve, but I think someone acid washed it, you know? So I was like, this would be really cute maybe if I like cropped it. I don't know. I don't know, do y'all see what I'm trying to go with? Uh, it was, it's an extra large. So it's just like this big thing. Maybe it'd be cute if I cropped it. I hope so. I don't know. That's the end of my thrift haul. I hope y'all enjoyed that. And then I brought y'all with me to the store and everything. Maybe gave y'all some tips. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate every single one of you. Thank you guys for the support on my last video, the Miami vlog. That took me so long to edit, for real. It just took me a long time, so thanks for the support on that. But let me know if y'all want me to do another one, thrift hauls. Thrift hauls need to be a more prominent thing on my channel because I love going thrifting and there's no reason to not be doing it. Uh, it's cheap, resourceful. You can like literally just pick up clothes and like turn them into something completely different. Like you can cut them, you know, so like do things to make them turn into a completely different piece, which is very cool. Um, but yeah, let me know which piece y'all like the best. Um, I hope I like them all. I haven't tried them on yet. <laughs> I might have a completely different feeling about each piece when I try them on. So that's why I, normally whenever I do try-ons, I like, I'll try them on and talk about them at the same time because if I don't, I'll be like, oh my God, this is so cute. And then I'll try it on and I'm like, this ain't it. Cause it's just two different things. But yeah. I love you guys so, so much. Please hit that like button, subscribe, go follow me on Instagram, TikTok, grab me on Snapchat. Looking for more summer content, I'm gonna have a Shein try on haul soon. I just ordered like $300 worth of Shein clothes the other day. I'm just, I just, ah, I need to declutter and donate a bunch of shit too. So yeah, I need to go before I'm late and my friends kill me. I feel like it's, I already need to go. I'm late to everything. Like, and I don't even want to go like this. I'll see you guys in my next YouTube video. Peace out, Girl Scout.